You know, after a while, you would think that people would get tired of arguing and bickering over the same mess. But here we are again, talking about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Lego. Now, everything escalated when Hennessy Carolina had came onto Instagram and she had posted a post which Ra Ali decided to take some time out of her day from drinking her protein shakes and taking her bulk pills to reply and say something, a nasty message in Hennessy Carolina's post. So the rest that lies with Hennessy, Carolina, and Ra Ali, because honestly, I really got to fast forward through this because I really don't want this video to be an hour and 30 minutes long. But um, to um, basically, after that post, Hennessy, Carolina was like, she deleted her comment. Ra Ali said, Dumbo, no, I didn't. And what I found interesting was that Hennessy Carolina said that Nicki Minaj and Ra Ali allegedly leaked Cardi B's phone number as well as Mariah Lynn's. I didn't know Mariah Lynn's phone number had got leaked too. Check this out. So as you can see, Hennessy Carolina said, y'all asking why I'm beefing with a fan base, but y'all not asking why someone with so much influence will use their influence to manipulate their fans to spread so much negativity and hate. She leaked my sister's number to her fan pages, the same shit she did to Mariah Lynn. It's easy for y'all to ask me why I'm bothered, why I care so much, but one of you are waking up to death threats but not one of you are waking up to death threats every day okay i'm gonna stop reading right here but as you can see she is saying that they leaked cardi b's phone number You know, now I could kind of see why Cardi B does not want her child in the public eye. Those messages were disgusting. Did you see them in all those phone calls? Who really is don't have nothing to do in their time of day to call somebody that many times? You get what I'm saying? And to be sending those nasty messages, especially about a child. Get the fuck out of here. So Mariah Lynn got on Instagram and she posted this picture of her mother. And as you can see in this picture, her mom's face is badly bruised. It looked like somebody had beat her up. So under this post, she is alleging that the barbs jumped her mother. Are the barbs really out here doing foul stuff like that? I hope not. I hope they're not out here jumping people <laughs> for somebody that don't even know them okay but this is what mariah lynn said under this picture so mariah lynn said let's not forget when they jumped my mom in the street after asking her if she was my mother to send a message to me to not come for the queen just because i don't publicize shit doesn't mean it's not happening all right, so I wasn't going to speak on this, but since y'all want to be calling my friend a liar, yes, bitch, your friend had my number, she leaked my number, I was getting all type of death threats, my family talk about they're going to kill my sisters, kill my nephew and all that shit, and on top of it, your friend saw me at the VMAs, there were seat fillers bouncing around from seat to seat, and they didn't say shit to me, not a motherfucking peep. 
And then want to be slick when I'm not paying attention and try to record me. But it's okay though, bitch, because we on to all of y'all fucking game. You try to act like you holier than thou, like you don't do no wrong, like you try to play victim, but you're not, bitch. Like, stop it. You're mad. Every time Cardi's music goes number one, you're mad. Every time she succeeds in something, you're mad. You're just a mad-ass bitch. You don't bring nobody on tour to open up for you. You don't post nobody but besides the bitches who dick ride you. And that's it. Like, bitch, shut the fuck Fuck up and leave us the fuck alone. Like, you're such a fuck. So, soon after, I want to say the next day or a couple of days after the fact, Nicki Minaj went on to her radio show to address some situations, okay? Um, here's a short little clip of what she has said. I really, really beat Cardi's ass bad. Mm. Like, really bad. And I'm not trying to, you know, and I'm not trying to be messy. You went home and told people that security hit you. And we let that lie continue because of legal reasons. I told Ra, don't tell anyone you hit her because I don't want nobody trying to sue me. Because they're going to come to the person with money. Mm -hmm. Instead, you went home and told you, I guess you had to look like a gangster in front of your friends and your family. And blah, 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 I get it. You got your family saying that I need to control my fans, but you're not controlling your family when they're calling me saying I'm on stage looking like a crackhead. They need rappers like me. They need rappers like me. So they can get on the keyboards and make me the bad guys on me. So what's good, girl? Like, are we going to be, you know, civilized and mature and tell everyone around us to relax or not? Like, what? I've never leaked a number in my life on, on God. And y'all continue to lie on me because it's so important for you to make me look like a bad person. And I protected you from the situation of saying how badly you got beat. And that lady that was with you didn't touch Rod, didn't do a thing. Nobody that was with you did a thing, and you know that. You know that. You know that. Anybody that want to pull up the surveillance footage, I will give you $100,000. Who? Pull up the surveillance footage. Ooh. Anybody that said that, that that shit didn't happen, I don't got it. I never come up here and lie. And, and for what? A hundred bands. For what? Mm. For what? Lie for what? I didn't even go there because I'm not messy. I'm not tacky. I don't have to go around and say, ha ha ha, you got here. Like, I'm not a child. Let it ride that I, I, I met up with you in a hotel room and you told me that my verse on the... Uh, on the 21 Savage London, uh, London on the track Offset record was about you She said that I did that verse about her So Offset couldn't do the video You talking about stopping bags So Offset and 21 Savage Didn't do that London on the track record Because she said that I was talking about her It was clear that she wanted to turn them against me And she succeeded The Crippy Kush record She wanted to get on that record I ended up getting on it It went from being 21 Savage to Travis Scott on it He wasn't allowed because he was on her single. Mind you, I could have said you stopped my bag twice with two videos. 21 Savage backs out of two videos because he's on a single with you. You asked me to be on your second single. And I said no because it, I feel like it's too much because uh, Motorsport was about to come out. Now you acting like you lovey-dovey with them girls. Why you ain't asked Remy and Kim to be on your single, baby girl? So as you heard in this clip, Nicki Minaj is insinuating that Ra Ali was the one that gave Cardi B the knot on her forehead. She is saying that the knot didn't come from the security, that it was Ra Ali who put the knot on Cardi B's forehead. She left the plaza, walked right in front of me. I shot this video of her walking out at 10.54. So this happened swift and quick. So everyone's saying that there was this whole altercation. These two girls were so far apart. There was no way that Nikki or Cardi even touched each other. That bump on her head definitely came from a security guard. The rip on her dress also, I think it was in the tassel. No, they, ripped, they ripped the back. Her booty was showing. Her whole 
Now, she says she got the security footage, but then she's saying that she wants to pay a, somebody $100,000 for a different angle. No, forget that. If you got the security footage, I want to see the one you got, okay? I don't think nobody cares about the angle. Long as we see for a fact that Ra Ali was the one that put the knot on Cardi B's head, we don't care about the angle. Release the footage, sis. So, Cardi B had got wind of everything that was going on that knew what Nicki Minaj said about her on Queen Radio. So, she hopped her ass on Instagram and decided to take some time out of her day to respond back to Nicki Minaj in these Instagram videos. Check these videos out. This is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there's so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there's going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what there's footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. Then you want to talk about how I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna that everybody knew that I was promoting. So what are you talking about? You're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out in the Latin community for like three, three, four, five months? What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and GZ got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the No Limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and GZ, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record. And that's fucking fact. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist that had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May, after they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it? That I, I gotta be cheating for that. First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top, chart, top charts all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Le tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when... You know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Raleigh used to have her number. Jason Lee's phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Raleigh. How come everybody that y'all have issues with, that y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, their numbers got leaked? My sister just got into an argument with Raleigh, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs. You're the common denominator on it. So, you tell me. You fucking tell me. Then, after my sister posted those disturbing text messages. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show ya. This is my phone. Let me go to my text messages. I went all the way down from that fucking same day. Look. 
Look. This was the one that fucking got me tighted the most. And look, it starts from all the way down here, all the way down here. Oh, and it started all the way from up here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And after my sister show those text messages, look what you do. You go on your Twitter and you start liking shit like this. You start liking shit um, like this. Endorsing that type of nasty ass fucking behavior. Bitch, you're fucking sick in the head. Now you're trying to say that I'm trying to stop your bag because 21 Savage didn't do a music video with you. Sis, I'm not even that close to that man. So how can I have that power to on um, that man to tell him, hey, don't do this music video that you're getting paid for for me. Get the fuck out of here. That song, that no flag song that they didn't do the music video with you, 21 and Offset, the song wasn't doing good. It wasn't doing that much numbers. So why would they waste their time? And you are here saying that I'm trying to stop your bag, right? But I'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got, yeah, that came to me first. And I had to decline it because I'm already working with fashion brands, you know, which y'all gonna see because there's more than Fashion Nova. Then, that woman like me, Brecker, yeah, I had to decline it because I'm doing a lot of pop records, so I can't, you know, over-exaggerate myself. But that came to me first, and then they gave it to you. Oh, wait, but let me show you. Not for the G. One second. This on my media. You hear that open verse, right? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, period. Then, since you say you tired of talking about it, I'm tired of talking about it too. I'm tired of the fucking whole internet shit. I'm tired of the interview shit. If you really want to talk about it, you know where to link me. We could always link up. You know who to reach out. You know we could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. But I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect. Because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect. But the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people. Focus on yourself and focus on your craft. Because you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater. Now, this argument went on and on and on. I mean, even the damn owner of Will he what is that model and agency called? Will he Will him and a, well, whatever that unprofessional ass agency even got into it. And I was surprised that a modeling agency had got into it and talking that the way that they were talking, talking about um, they all held the queen and all this other stuff. I mean, I'm just going to jump to my opinion. And my opinion is this. First of all, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, none of these people that are your so-called fans like either one of y'all. Because if they did, they would not be hyping you up. Nobody that hypes you up for failure loves you 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 get what i'm saying like a true fan don't want to see y'all going at each other a true fan want to see both of y'all win and that's what i am i love cardi b i'm a fan of cardi b i like Nicki minaj but i hate Nicki minaj's ways just because i feel like she beefs with every incoming rapper but do i want to see her ruin her legacy no i don't want to see neither one of them fail and i wish that they could get along I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know if maybe they are stopping each other's bags. I know that they love liking pictures of, you know, about each other when like people talking crap about each other or whatever. And I just feel as though y'all sitting here, y'all entertaining all these people on the internet that want to see y'all fail anyway. These people would love to see you fail. And Cardi B, these people, including Nicki Minaj, would love to see your ass in jail just like Remy Ma was back in jail back in the day she would love to see your ass in jail and trust and believe if you was to go to jail 
none of these people that's hyping you up, all these people that have Cardi B fan pages, the ones that's not even trying to tell their fave to stop. None of these people are going to pay for your bail. None of them going to pay for lawyers. None of them going to be paying when people sue you. And and same to you, Nikki. Same to you. No, None of your barbs is going to be paying for anything. So, I mean, all this entertainment stuff, y'all really need to stop. Y'all look dumb. Especially, I mean... Especially since it's so much stuff going on in the world where like it's already enough black on black going on. And I know Cardi B is Dominican or whatever, but I mean, shit, her hair turns into an afro. So to me, she black. But it's so much stuff going on. Like, I don't understand why we just can't all get along. I want both of y'all to win. I don't want neither one of y'all to fail. If y'all can't get along, then just shut shut up. Don't say nothing else to each other. Don't say nothing else to each other. When y'all go to the same events, don't go around neither, you know, don't go around each other. I don't want to hear no more of this. This is draining. This is tiresome. Nikki, you ain't slick because you do the same shit every time you come out with a song or you come out with an album. You do the same stuff. Everybody knows, especially a real fan that keeps up with you, knows that you do this the hype up your albums and stuff see nikki she beefs but she makes money off her beefs okay because she's like she she knows how to run her business i guess you can say that i don't know but um every time she beefs with somebody when she drops a song or whatever that's when you're gonna hear about the beef okay and let me just tell you all this i i didn't even go check out the song you got with tiger okay so this is not making me go check out that damn song y'all to really need to get y'all shit together all honestly from a true fan y'all really do i want the best for both of y'all what do you guys think about the whole situation do you think that they need to just stop before things escalate to like a a real serious matter let me know down below in the comments if you like this video please like and subscribe and i can't wait to talk back to you soon thank you I'm sorry. I try to be nice and you know, but she pushes. You see, she's doing this.